The New York Jets are the best regs team in Madden 25. In this video, we're going to be kind of breaking down their team and uh, why this team is as good as it is. I think it's the most balanced team in regs. It's got a good offense. It's got a good defense. It's got um, everything you need. Also, we're actually, what's crazy is we're also at rocking uh, the Jets playbook on offense or on defense. So their defense playbook is really good. If you guys want to get access to all of my full offensive and defensive ebooks, those will be linked in the description down below. Uh, by becoming a member of our school community, you'll get access to everything over there for just 10 bucks. And again, the link to that is going to be in the description. You get all the ebooks, all the updates, everything. All right, so starting out here on defense. Uh, defense is super hard in this game. I actually, I don't know. Um, I feel like with the basic gist with defense is, I actually feel like defense is harder with velocity. So if they're using velocity ability, that, that's going to make it challenging. But if they're not using velocity ability, like this guy doesn't have a velocity ability on Geno, uh, you should be pretty straight defensively. It's a little bit easier to play defense uh, without that ability. So we're rocking uh, a little hot blitz three here on the left hash. On the right hash, I'm going to be doing some free safety zone blitz. Biggest thing here is we're just trying to defend the seams. I will say I've never seen a game where seeing like like just like straight up streaks in the slot are so, like it, it, it just look, look at that. Look at that. Look, look what just happened to me. Like that right there. For some reason in this game. I don't know why, but those are so hard to defend. Like, look at this replay. Let's just take a look at this. Look at this hook curl. Just leaves it. And the middle third is just, I don't even know what he's doing. So, yeah. If you're going to play spread sets, uh, you need to watch for that. So, we'll lock that up next drive. But but I've just never seen a game where you can just throw seam streaks. Like, especially with a pass lead uh, lead or gunslinger. Or uh, I'm sorry, pass lead, lead, or set feet lead. Either one of those abilities, you can just absolutely uh, throw seam streaks. Offensively, rocking uh, one of our newest offensive guides. This is the Bears ebook. Really like Bears a lot. There's some cool things in Bears that actually isn't in Colts. I think Bears actually has a much better uh, wide trips, which uh, wide trips here is a really good red zone scheme. You've got this uh, bubble screen. You got this direct snap, this read flat, and then you also have this rollout play. If I can find it, the sprint flood. So it's a super glitchy little formation. Their bunch strong nasty is pretty much the same as Colts, a, a little bit less in here. And then they have the bunch strong offset. I love the bunch strong offset. I think the bunch strong offset is probably the best standalone formation in the game. Right? It just, it just, you just come out. You just call hike like it's just it's just a very good standalone formation. He's gonna be sending the crib at me. We got Brees Hall. Brees Hall is literally a glitch. He's probably the best running back in the game, and we're gonna put our ball carrier on conservative because you can still spin on conservative in this game. So another little tip for you guys. I know hot routes are kind of a thing, like getting hot routes to go faster. As I'm kind of thinking about this, I think there is a thing in this game where I feel like you can stem the hot routes like super fast. If you do your stems quick, I do think that that uh, matters. There you see Cor Corley. I need to sub him out. Put my man. I like to put uh, Wilson in the slot. If I can put him in the slot. And then I'm going to put this guy Gibson on the outside and Williams in the solo. That's kind of how I like to run this, run this scheme. But, yeah, I think like stemming. I don't think that, like, costs you a hot route. So, like, flood, I just come out, stem these two routes. I didn't mean to quiet the crowd. But then we're ready to rock. And just easy reads. Just easy reads. And we can pretty much just do this all the way down the field. Another little tip for you guys, you can stem wheel routes if you didn't know that. Uh, some people didn't know that. You can also stem uh, running back streaks. So, like, we can stem this up a one and make it a little bit more delayed. A little high point out there to Gibson. Very good. The only thing that this formation doesn't have is it doesn't have that trips tied in that I like. It, it, the trips tied in offset. The trips tied in offset is pretty good this year because the bubble screen is so good. Let's see if I can get this. Snap quick. A little seam streak. You can just throw right through the zones. It's crazy. I don't know what zones guard what. <laughs> I'm going to put Rodgers in a position to make a mistake. I'll show you this Y trips, though, while we're here. This Y off trips is so good. It's got this running back direct snap. It's kind of um, 
kind of a weird play here, but watch this. Just instant, easy blocking. You know, we're just going. Also, if you didn't know, there is a runoff. Uh, while, I'm, while I'm thinking about just random tips, there's a runoff that happens when you go no huddle. That runoff does not exist if you come out in, in the play. So there's really no reason to go no huddle this year, pretty much. I'm going to sub this in. This is kind of a cool little deal you can do. I want to sub in Travis. All right, so we got the uh, Y trips. I'll show you this kind of glitch play. The sprint flood. I'm just going to slide right. I'm going to instantly roll right as soon as I snap the ball. And it didn't work. <laughs> didn't work. I should have rolled left, actually. All right, we need to, we need to throw a touchdown here. Kind of messing around. I shouldn't have done that. The way he's playing defense, I should not have done that. That's okay. Going for the seam streak. Not there. Tied in. See if I can just truck. Get in there. Nice. We'll go for two to show you that this red zone scheme isn't terrible. How you guys liking the game so far? I mean, uh, we're a couple weeks in. Let me know what you think of this game. I, I don't know. I feel like there's definitely a meta in this game uh, with the first tournament. That RPO, this RPO is insane. Like, I don't know how they go at the tight end. They basically have to use it the tight end. And if they do that, you can just keep with your quarterback or hand it off. Let's see if we can do this, uh, this glitch kick. I don't know if you can or not on regs. That's good. Morstead, it might be too short. Yeah, I think it – oh, no, it worked. And it kind of worked and kind of didn't work. All right. All right, let's play some D. All right, so we got to watch the seams. Got to watch the seams, boys. So the, actually the best thing you can do is put seam flats out there for these seam streaks. Well. I might literally just – I might honestly be in match. This this could be a good match year, I will say. The problem is most good players are going to run some type of quads against match. We're just going to run this. A little cover three match. Look at those seam flats. Look at those seam flats. Just cage. Yeah, seam flats are the wave. Seam flats, it's probably the best seam flats I've ever been in a game. You just put the slot corners in the seam flats and call it good. And the middle third is almost irrelevant. Little RPOs. Little RPOs cheese. Got him on a fourth. Got him on a fourth. There we go. That's our stop. Eight to seven ball game here. I think did he I think he got ball first. So we're not we're not really in a bad. We're not really in a bad spot. The one thing, my favorite thing about this game is the fact that zone drops are actually pretty, um, they're better than they've ever been, in my opinion. Crap, I'm going to get quick hiked. This should be good, D. Should be good pressure left. Yeah, buddy. Take that away. Fourth down, very good. So you see how we use the seam flats. I, that's why I said, it's like stuff like that. Like the seam flats are really good at guarding seam streaks from spread sets. Um, they're not as good at guarding seam streaks from bunch sets, but they are uh, really good at guarding spread. Let's see here. A little flat rate. I really like just – and I know, like, it's good every year, but I feel like in this year's game, like, a true flood concept is actually pretty good. Where you just, you just come out. Let's see if I can stem this up. Like, true high-low reads, I feel like, are back. Let's see if I can sneak that in. Rodgers. Rodgers is so good on regs. Very good. All right, that's two possession. We'll see if we can make this a two-possession game. Also, read option runs are better than inside zones for, like, the first time in a long time. I think I'm going to go RPO flat again. See if he can guard it. He looks like he's using it over there. Keep with the rod. I shouldn't have kept it. I should have handed it off. I keep forgetting that holding X is like when you hold the X or A button, 
that's what's going to keep uh, with your quarterback. I keep forgetting that. It's like going to take a while to get used to that muscle memory because we've been doing read options a certain way for so long. Let's see if I can get this kick again. So the scum kick, basically you just put uh, placement all the way down, and then you go like – depends on your kick power, but you go – you basically aim it all the way down, and you want to be on the placement setting. And then um, – you're basically trying to just essentially work the power. It's a, it's all about the kick power of your kicker. Let's see if this defense comes in. I don't know if it will. This blitzing on the DT is so unique. I just feel like this should be a good blitz, but we'll see how it works. Yeah, doesn't work that good. Oh, no. Oh, no. The seam flight did not do what the seam flight was supposed to do. Oh, no. Okay. Well... We'll just man him up then. This is insane. I don't understand this. Oh, we got DK out here just open. Yeah, I might be. Uh, I might have to just play man. All right, everybody's manned up. I'll take that. Good read. Yeah, I just. I, this could be also. This also one of those years where spread could be good. The reason why is because there's not like a great blitz. Every blitz is like bad in my opinion, even double mug. Like it's just there's not a way to get like super fast pressure. And then the spread like has a lot of stock zigs and normally spreads weakness as it doesn't beat man well. But in this year's game, you can probably definitely beat man well out of spread. So that might be the uh, might be the move later on. We are going to do a spread ebook out of. Um, it's, it's actually a doubles it's, – it's doubles HB week, and that's actually in the Jets' playbook. It's a pretty good formation this year. Okay. So you see how I can just stem super quick? We just – I don't know why Rodgers keeps quiet in the crowd, though. That's why I like the street corner flat because it's so obvious when the flat is open. And the thing is – when you do a streak corner flat, I feel like you don't get switch sticked as bad. All right, go corner strike. Let's just see if we can throw our little flat read. Very nice. He just, I mean, you just see it. We're just killing him in the flats. We should be up two possessions out of half because we're going to get ball at halftime. We should be able to go down and score seven. Offense is, this is probably the most powerful I've ever seen in offense. But notice how you saw there. Like in previous Baddens, there was a significant runoff that would occur when you came out in the huddle. Now that runoff happens in um, – that runoff occurs like basically if you go no huddle. I had the streak wide open. Big Conklin. So like watch. I'll go no huddle and watch the clock. See how it runs off like that. But then I'll show you. I should have spun. So now if I come out, let's like, like say here 130, if I come out in a play, watch how fast I can snap the ball. It's still 130. There's no runoff. So you're, you're to the line super fast, and you're snapping, the, you're quick hiking them. I just accidentally pump fake. I was trying to throw the running back. Spin on conservative. So, yeah. So you can kind of use that to your advantage, um, really just depending on how you want to do it. Look at Rodgers just throwing beams. Yeah, this might be the best year, Roger. Rodgers has been pretty much good in every Madden for the last, like, while, but this year he's probably better than he's ever been. Let's just see if we can hit this tight end. Rodgers can bend it. Oh, I thought Rodgers could bend it. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. That's, like, a big deal because now oh, that's that's kind of unfortunate. All right. Well, that did not go our way. I'm going to go back in his spread double flex, and this is just the best offense I've ever seen. We're manning this dude up. Play action, drag, good read. Oh, we just, we just lost the game maybe. 
game. And the crazy part is we got our one stop, and we still might have lost the game. Okay, I think I'm going to man this guy up on the slot here and then switch stick onto the seam flat. Actually, I think I know what I want to do here. If we go with – let's try um, – Let's just do this. Okay, he's bringing that dude in. Yeah, he's just running some of the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. I, I, I literally don't know. I mean, I guess he gets his field goal. This is some of the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. I feel like every player is, like, good in this game, too. That's fine. Just tackle. What's crazy is, like, he should have totally got a field goal. Oh, he must have been too far back. Well, nothing too, nothing too bad happened there. We'll still be able to be up one possession. We should be up two possessions. I thought Rodgers could bend that a little bit more to that, to that, on that corner route. and he to, Maybe I just threw that a little bit late. Another little bug in this game that happens to me, like, all the time is you can't, like, pick your play. Also, if you didn't know, you can move these guys. Uh, see how I moved that guy, like, super far up? And – you could kind of do that if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, or would, but you can. Just dropping little, little, little nuggets that we've learned in the last couple of weeks. I'm going to flood here. That's probably a bad idea. Yeah, it was a bad idea. Rodgers was like 60 speed. All right, it'd be great if we didn't uh, continue to accidentally hit buttons. Can't hunt around. This post from Wide Trail this year is insane. And then you see, that, like, look at Big Mike Williams just out here agging people for six. All right, let's get a stop. Yeah, he's running a lot of match stuff, but the quads, the cool part, the reason why Bunch Strong offset is so good I mean, there's a lot of reasons. It's got really good routes. But one of the real big reasons why this is such a good offense is because you can't really match it. You can't really run match coverage against it. So you eliminate match coverage from the uh, coverage library. Now you only have to consistently be able to beat man and zone. And in this game, man coverage has got a lot of different bugs in it. There's a lot of ways to manipulate it. So essentially, you're, you're, you're basically just stuck. How do I manipulate zone coverage? Is, is, it makes it super makes the game easier because there's only so many things they can do to you defensively, so that's another reason why I like bunch strong. Okay, let's um, let's not get darted here. I'm just banning these guys up. I'm just kind of over this uh, this offense to be honest with you. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Very good. Yeah, just take away the seams, boys. You, you, at some point, you have to force him to throw somewhere else. He had a bunch of stuff open on that play, but he's just so locked in on trying to throw these seam streaks. Oh, we just take that away, and there you go. All right. Let's go. Let's go corner strike here, probably. Another thing you can do is you can – let me see if I can do this. I wonder if this beats man. Oh, yeah. Get over there. Get over the top. Very good. So, what I just did there, um, I think Ancat might have been the first person to find this. And I didn't know it worked against cover zero, too. Um, but basically, if you stem a curl route all the way up, it turns it into, like, a streak, right? But the coding in the game is decoded to defend a curl. And so, you get more. Uh, number one, it's like, I think it's unbumpable against pressed man. But against cover zero, it seems like it does. Um, it seems like it gets over the top better than a streak. So, and I was actually thinking about that because if you're in trips, I, I normally run a lot of trips. If you're in trips tied in, you can't put a streak out there to that outside trips receiver, and it makes it hard to clear out for corner routes. But you could put a curl out there and stem it all the way up, and then as you saw there, I mean, it, it can also just destroy man. So there's some benefit to that. Somehow we still got back into this. Um, let me try this. I don't know. This seam flat to me, I want this seam flat to be better. 
Put a man, both those guys up on the right. Let's see if we can get this to go. And I don't know how in a million years, like, like look at this throw that Geno Smith just made on me. Look at this throw that Geno Smith just, this is what's wrong with this game. It's stuff like this. It, it really is. Look at this throw. It's a running back streak. Look at the middle third. Look at the middle third. Just run away from the route. It's on his side of the field. Like, what a game. What a great game we play. What a great game we play, boys. Golly. Like, I, if you could please explain to me what a middle third defends in this game. Oh, my gosh, man. Like, I, <laughs> this is just the best offense I've ever seen. I just don't I, – I really don't – I really hate what they did with defense in this game. I was worried about it in college football. And, and, and the, honestly, the thing about it is, in college football, you had, you had the ability to get pressure because you had quick jumps. Now, I feel like you could, just, you could just five out every time. Like, I'm not really scared of any bl- – there's not a blitz in the game that I'm really terrified about, to be honest with you. Look at this running back streak. Yeah, I might be back on dagger. This might be this might be a true this this bunch strong might be it boys cuz look at these running these running backs sh- no one's talking about how good the running back streak is look at this we're going to run it again The other thing you could do this year is you can stem this wheel route out make it a little flatter which is kind of good Can he defend his own route? Look at that. I can just catch it. I can just catch it. <laughs> this is bad. This is a very bad game. I like a running back wheel route here. Let's go streak. Can I throw this? Oh, I should have possession caught that. It was actually pretty good defense by him. Look at this route. Just a little cross. Okay, Rodgers, I'm going to need you to make a throw, buddy. I feel like Rodgers is like, Rodgers is like the best quarterback, but he, he randomly just spazzes. Oh, let's see if this works. Corner route, easy. Very good. 35-21. We just got to get a stop. We just got to stop the running back. The best way to stop the running back streak is to man it up. The best way to stop streaks in general is man it up, which is why you might want to play man coverage. But the problem is there's so many other things that can really manipulate man coverage. So that's why I like, like just basically manning up out of zone. But I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not 100% sure. I really do also like match. I think match is really good. It's just most people are going to be in a uh, bunch strong or a bunch strong nasty. Uh, basically just negates match. Nice kick. Nice kick. He's trying to feel that he just can't. Oh, that's our ball too. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. All right, on that, he's going to be out of there. Out of there, hopefully. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the breakdown. Ebooks are on our school community. For just 10 bucks, you get everything by being a member over there. Link is in the description.